The Northern Beaches was all new to me, but that's where it all began. And I came across a shop in Narrabeen called Sharkies. It was located right on 1425 Pitwater Road, Narrabeen. After a short time, I decided I should purchase this business, so I did. It was a big task up at hand. We had to change everything that was done in there. Shuckies sold fish and chips, roast chickens, salads, burgers. It had a lot of work to be done. It had to be cleaned. It had to be moved around equipment we had to make sure that we'll be able to trade in a way that we can make it profitable at the start it was very hard to get customers in the door a lot of them had the ideas of the old sharkies and the new name salty rooster was bringing new ideas to the plate we had to convert customers from the old way of thinking to the new way the food was a little bit advanced for the area for the time mind you this is 15 years ago the taste had to be great and it had to be something that would be remembered and to bring him back again and again. Mark was a good friend of mine who worked with me along the way and we sat down and said, we need to come up with burgers. So we did, we came up with six burgers. After, after the six burgers were named, we wanted to make sure that they were gonna be something unique, something that everyone would taste and say, wow, I haven't had this before. So we came up with the names from it. We came up with the Brazilian, the Mexican, the Greek, the Narrabeen, the Italian and the Aussie. They were the first six to come along. I've been a frequent visitor of Salty Rooster since the good old days in Narrabeen back in 05. We had to bring back loyalty. We had to bring back the customers that were once there to be something that will keep telling the friends about and they will roll more people into our doors. The challenge we had was trying to convince people that this is healthy, it's a, it's a good way to eat a burger. If you're going to eat a burger, man, you want to eat it our way. Our burgers had to be simple. They had to be from the freshest ingredients. They had to taste good and they had to be something that will be remembered. Our values were very simple. Treat customers well, leave an impression and make sure they'll walk back in again with their families and friends and most of all with their kids. And because Jim you were like so charismatic and talkative and all the rest of it, you came across being someone you could trust. I remember I used to keep a little black book and every week after all the sales I'll write down how many burgers were sold you can see over time the business was actually losing money. It wasn't going in the direction I wanted to and something had to be done. And that wastage was with food already pre-cooked and sitting in the Bay Marines waiting to be sold. So eventually I had to cut down all those and just focus on what was working and that was the burgers. So I came across another friend of mine who wasn't at the time but he is now and he's a great man by the name of Romano. Romano came across and changed the whole counter, removed everything on Bay Marine. It was just a flat counter that it can only serve burgers, chips and drinks. And that was the change that he needed. Hi guys, Romano here from RNC Shopping. We first met Jimmy about 15 years ago when we renovated his Narrabeen store. I had to come up with a formula that was going to be winning. And when I mean that, it had to be the right price quality, freshness, and something unique. It had to be something that was built and made from the heart to have the taste that I was looking for. Just making things with love because that's what we wanted to do.
After a little while, you could see the change. You could see the consumer adapting to our new ways. You could see them tasting the product that was unique and fresh. They were coming back again and again, and our burger sales were growing. We had to make sure that we were very strict in the way we did it. So we introduced new pulse systems that can actually be done in a way that it was producing faster and faster service, but not losing and jeopardizing quality of product. It had to be done right and it had to be done smart.